Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make a chop engine. Well, you have two ways of make a chop engine. You can make it using the inventory system that I've teached to you, okay? With, with the square movements, well, but that you guys already know, so I'm going to teach you other way of making a chop, nice. The click chop, so you go and click and buy the item, nice. So, what I have here, what I have done here, let me check. And this price. I have made this chop window right here. You have to check the, the scale and the coordinates. Is ever good to know it? Nice. And I made this chop item right here. I made only two. The cane. The cuss is 20 coins. And this life right here. That will be more complicated to explain, but it works very well. This here is meaning um, one coin per one HP. Okay? And I'm working only with one sprite for that, so we have to work with the sub images. Nice. Uh -huh. And I made this cursor right here very fast. Not too bad, not too good. And this guy, the dealer. I'm going to change his name here. Dealer. It's only the link again, but now with some mustache. Every dealer have the mustache. Nice. Okay. Let's go to the objects. In the object global, I've just fixed a shit I've done here. I, if you remember, I've deleted this. I don't know why I've deleted this. So I've put this again. Nice. And in the create event, I want to go in the life and create a limit for the life. I'm going to call this life max. Nice. I want this to be 100. Okay. In the step event, I'm going to create a control for it. So if global life is bigger then global life max the global life I forgot the L here is going to be equal to the global life max what that means if this right here this guy right here is 100 okay so when the life gets to 101 that is bigger than this guy it's going back to 100 nice not too hard to understand I'm going to put here on status control life okay so now now I go to the NPC that I made here the the folder of the NPC and going to make the OBJ dealer at now I only going to put oops not that a step event on it and that equals negative y for the 3D looking going to put the OBJ shop one that is the shop panel that we did there I got to put negative 10,000 of depth to this looks above the world of the game and make the, I got to do now the OBJ cane oops OBJ shop cane that will be the cane that we're going to buy in the, with the dealer so shop items and create event the cane if you remember is the image index 0 nice and we, I'm going to remove the image speed because I'm working only with one sprite right here okay so I have to remove the speed and put some the same depth of the shop negative 1 because that have to be above the shop screen. I'm going to duplicate this and make the OBJ shop HP. That is the image index one. Nice, nice. So, going to create two uh, OBJ cursor. That will be your cursor right here. Uh, we're here. And I'm going to do this the way I like to do. Okay. I think faster. I just go in the extra here and put this guy. Don't change anything. And go to the step event and put x, x equal mouse x. Y equal mouse y. Nice. And put very, 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 very bigger negative depth. Nice. Going to put this guy here. Uh -huh. Very good. Now let's go to the dealer. In the step event, I want the shop to appear when we are close to the dealer. So I'm going to put if distance to OBJ 
OBJ player. That is our player. It is smaller or equals 10. Now that's very important. If I'm not going to create this now, just to explain why I've created this. I'm going to plus 10 pixels here to avoid, you know, a bad looking. Okay, so what I've done here. Well, I told you that if the distance to the OBJ player is smaller or equals 10, we're going to create the chop. But if we are close to the dealer, so it's going to create this chop as a crazy guy, you know, every time. So that's why I've put in this here. If not, instance exists. OBJ chop 1. So that will check if the chop don't exist to create it. So we can only have now one chop, okay? That is to avoid lagging. And else, so if we are far with the OBJ chop, that will work. The code right here is working for the OBJ chop. It will get destroyed. It's destroyed here. Nice. So I go to the OBJ chop here and put create. And the creator is going to put some code here. And I put instance create x y obj shop cane. That's for creating the, the cane that we're going to buy. And instance create. Well, you guys not going to understand that. 102 negative. That is for. Well, if you check my shop right here, it have 102 pixels of x. So when I put more 102, that will create the tank right here. But if I remove 34, that will remove the X scale of the square. So it will look right here, touching the, the edge. Nice. So let me put again here. Because the square here has 34. Nice. Chop 1. Same Y, OBJ. Shop HP. Nice, very good. So let's go to the shop cane and put step event code. And I'm going to put I want to buy the cane only if I click and release the mouse button. Nice. So we're going to work in two steps here. If K board no not k mouse check button so we are pressing the button mb left that is the left click image blend equals c red that will turn the image color to red okay else so if not pressing image blend equal c white but we have to have, <laughs> have to have the cursor above this guy. So I'm going to put a restriction here. If place meeting x y obj cursor, that is the cursor that we made equals true. And going to open this code and close right here. Nice. Oh, let me close this a, a little bit longer because we're going to work with that a, a bit more. So this right here is the changing color of the sprite engine when we are clicking it now let's go and make the buy engine if mouse check button realized and be left and that's only for when we release the left now let's go to put the real shop engine and global coin bigger or equals 20 Remember that the price of my cane here is 20, so we need to have 20 coins or a little bit more. And global cane equals false. So we can't have the cane to buy the cane. Okay? What's going to happen when we release the left and we have the amount of coin we need and we don't have the cane? Well, global coin. We get removed 20 coins. That's the price of the cane, the price of the cane, and the global cane is going to true. So we're going to have it. Nice. 
now we over for buying the cane going to copy this and put in the HP shop here the only thing we're going to work here is with this guy nice so I'm going to remove this right here and this part right here nice so what I want I told you there that one coin per one HP point so we're going to work with some difference here that's why I told you to make the limit of the, the life so I'm going to put and ABS between the parentheses global life max negative global life bigger than zero so what that means this ABS turn this difference ever to positive okay any number you have between the between the ABS here will turn positive so if this ABS is checking some difference so it's bigger than zero there have to be a difference because if you think with me the life max we put there is 100 if we have the whole life the difference will be zero so that ain't going to work this this code right here okay we have to get hurt to see some difference okay and you can forget you need the coins and global coin bigger or equals the difference of course because there is one coin one coin per let I didn't close this not close this all wrong right here okay now you're over so to buy the life we have to release the left we need to be hurted and we need more or the same value of the coins than the difference nice so what's going to happen global coin it's going to remove the difference that we we bought there nice and the global life is going to be the life is going to be fooled nice like this so we just ended this guy here nice now you're going to the rooms I had two enemies here a lot of coins and going to put the dealer okay oh and uh, until I test I, j I, I forgot something here in the step event of the chopping items that you're going to do you we're going to put this if not If the chop one doesn't exist, okay, this guy have to be destroyed. Oops. Nice. If the chop don't exist, this guy going to be destroyed. Same for the HP. Okay, so now until you run again, go to the room and don't forget to put the cursor. Okay, we have to put the cursor, and in the cursor. One of that, what the fuck I'm thinking about? Put negative, very big negative, negative depth to the cursor. Okay. Now let's go and run the game. This cursor is horrible, but <laughs> it's only example. Let me catch this. These coins right here. Okay, I guess I have enough. Let these guys hurt me a little bit. As you can see, my health here is getting smaller. Now I'm going to kill him. I think I got hurt enough. Okay, let's go to the chopper. As you can see, the chop is appearing in the screen. Nice above us. And I'm going to hold the click in the cane. It's red now. Okay, going to release. Check out the coin count in the in the bottom right here. So I lose 20 coins as we want. And here we have the cane. Very good. I'm going to try to buy this again. I can't buy this again because I have the cane. Now the health. Okay, take a look. We lose. We've lost 10 points of health. So we have to lo lose 10 coins for filling up. Now let's try this. 
so as you can see no bug is let's try to buy again no you can't because we have the full health here so this is working well okay hope you guys enjoy this engine and see you guys in the next video thanks for watching